Today I'm going to talk about four cult classics. Three I think are amazing and one is steeped in history but when I look at the ingredients I think mm, I'm not sure and it's somewhat of a disappointment. I'm going to start off with the oldest one in the book which is you can see how old it is in my cupboard, it's not this old. But since 1967, Dr. Hauschka went into skincare and it was Elizabeth Sigmund who started Healing Creams by Dr. Hauschka and the brand was born as we know it today. Now this is the Revitalizing Day Cream and this is the moisturizer I probably go back to more than any other moisturizer. It's got this smell which is so Dr. hauschka -y. And it's like I'm sort of inhaling a meadow with flowers in it and there's a little bit of a herbal garden in the background. It does go on, it absorbs straight away and it feels immensely hydrating. There are more stronger hydrating ones like their Rose Day Cream, but this one I always like the most because my skin feels alive after I put it on. I smell it, the application, it's brilliant. Revitalizing Day Cream, there we go. You can't even see the front properly, but trust me, that's the words. <laughs> Next up, this is a product that I would say, I'm trying to think how old it is but it's a wonderful mask I have used for at least 15 years and it's Dr. Seabag deep exfoliating mask let me show you the front there and this is what I like about it it's got two ingredients that are my favorite ingredients for exfoliation skin lactic acid which is wonderful and also azelic acid and azelic acid is especially good if you want to get rid of scarring pregnancy mask but some discoloration on the skin they have one for normal and they have one for sensitive skin which is great so the lactic acid has been dialed down you put it on and probably in here I will get about 30 goes a thin layer a little bit of tingling occurs and then I take it off 10 minutes later it, my skin always looks brilliant afterwards. I'm going to go next to my somewhat disappointment and then end on the high note, which is Creme Apricot. Now, this is a cuticle cream that I had from my mother. She used to use it. It would be by her bed. My mother had hardly any skincare products, but she would use this. And I always remember thinking how beautiful this little case was. It comes like this, like a Nivea packaging. I've got a new one here, actually. You kind of peel it off and it's this gunk. And you put this gunk on your nails at night. It smells of nothing. It smells of sort of paraffin or something. And this is unfortunately what I've discovered in the ingredients. So you do put it on, it is thick and gunky. In the morning, your cuticles feel good. So it really works. The hydration levels are fantastic. It's a tiny bit sticky. So generally I put it on, I push down my cuticles and then I take like a tea towel or something and I just rub clean so I don't take the product off the other side. But I then looked up the ingredients and it is lanolin, paraffin, beeswax and glycerin. Glycerin is a very well-known ingredient that actually just makes that sensorial touch work well. So ingredients may be not the best, but... It still works and it is a classic. This is actually came out, I think in 1963, the year before I was born. So I can tell you it's 55 years old. Now, the newest baby to this little cult for is actually Color Wow. And Color Wow has been around for, I think, 15 years. So I'm going to put it in the cult classic thing. Anything that's more than 10 years old will be in the series. When I'm doing my root coverage, there's lots of different times I'll do different things. But there are moments when definitely I'm just about to film, go on a Zoom call, suddenly notice my greys or notice this receding hairline. And I just sprinkle back and forth with Color Wow and it gives me immediately that depth of hairline that I need to have really my face set in a better way. And for those women who are getting menopausal, who might be getting that receding thinning hairline, which I really have here, just sprinkling on, actually on the scalp like that, it just gives a density to your hair, which makes it appear thicker. And there is lots of shades. They've now also introduced a red. Look, you can just see that side. It has depth. I have structure and here. I'm still receding. So four cult classics that I love that are in my skincare library.